Oh, Shabbat Shalom and Happy New Year, everybody. Cantor Boyle, good to see you. What did you do for New Year's Eve? Um, we had a pretty quiet New Year's Eve this year. We stayed in and had some snacks and watched some TV and it was nice. Did you stay up till midnight? Did you make it? Uh, no, not this <laughs> <laughs> An early night. Yeah. Yeah, a, a quiet New Year's Eve, you know, that, that that's not all bad. That's not all bad. Well, welcome. Welcome to 2021 and our first Shabbat of 2021. And we're kind of raring to go. How good it is to be together, even, even if it's virtual. So we're going to start. We've got some new, new slides for 2021, too. So we're going to start with Hine Matov. Hine Matov Beautiful. And we need a little light in the new year. So perhaps some Or Zarua. Or Zarua. going to continue uh, by getting ready for our candle lighting this way. As our Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we by our lives give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light so may we in our own day be among those who kindle light. Oh,
Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. And Shana Tova, as it, as it were. Uh, new Year, new song. Shiru Ladonai. We sing a new song. the opposite of cynicism. Say, despite what is probable, all is possible. Say, we are only limited by our imagination. Say, the universe abundantly provides. Be like the sunflower. Scan the heavens for the light. Turn toward the light. We have been having such gorgeous sunsets these days, and what a beautiful prayer this is to honor those sunsets. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Bidvaro Ma'ariv Aravim, Bachochma Poter Sha'arim, Uvitvuna Mishane Itim, Umachalif Et Hazmanim, Umisader Et HaKochavim, Bemishmerotehem by Rakia Kirtsono. Bore Yom Valila, Golel Or Mipne Hoshech, the Hoshech Mipne Or. Uma Avir Yom Umevi Lila, Umavdil Ben Yom Uvein Lila, Adonai Tsva Ot Shemo. El Chaiva Kayam, Tamid Yim Lochalenu, Leolam Va Ed. Baruch Ata Adonai. Hama'ariv Aravim. Praise to you, Adonai, who brings on the evening.
God, you performed miracles for us before Pharaoh, signs and wonders in the land of the Egyptians. You led your people Israel out from their midst to freedom for all time. When your children witnessed your dominance, they praised your name in gratitude, and they accepted your sovereignty. Moses, Miriam, and all Israel sang to you together lifting their voices joyously. Standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe what we are taught. Before ever we stood at Sinai's foot, that wherever we go, it's eternally Egypt. And that there's a better place, a promised land, and the winding way to that promised process through the wilderness. And that there's no way to get from here to there except by joining hands and marching together singing me
It's so uplifting. Thank you, Cantor. It's uplifting and we need uplifting right now uh, because we could fall into despair. And what do we do when we are there? These words might help. When despair for the world grows in me and I wake in the night at the least sound in fear of what my life and my children's lives might be. I go and lie down where the wood drake rests in his beauty on the water and the great heron feeds. I come into the peace of wild things who do not tax their lives with forethought of grief. I come into the presence of still water and I feel above me the day blind stars waiting with their light. For a time I rest in the grace of the world and I am free. Let's bring those thoughts into our prayer as we continue with our Amida. Adonai sefatai tifta ufi agita hilatecha Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise Baruch Adonai Eloheinu, Eloheinu avoteinu veimoteinu, Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzhak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ha'el Hagadol Hagivor Hanora, El Elohim, Gomel Chasadim Tovim. Grant us peace, O God, your most precious gift, and give us the will to proclaim its message to all the peoples of the earth. Bless our country, that it may always be a stronghold of peace and its advocate among the nations. May contentment reign within its borders, health and happiness within its homes. Strengthen the bonds of friendship among the inhabitants of all lands, and may the love of your name hallow every home and every heart. We ponder those dreams and visions as we continue silently. Shalom, be Roma. Oh, 
nice to be with you, Cantor. And nice to be with everyone, especially on New Year's. Um, we all know that the Jewish New Year began back in September, but we need a new year right now more than ever. So, so do permit me to share a prayer of farewell to 2020 and then a prayer for 2021. First, the prayer for 2020. I, and I know what you're thinking. You're all, you've got your own prayers for 2020. Sort of like the prayer in Fiddler on the Roof for the Tsar. May God bless and keep 2020 far away from us, right? But another prayer. This is a prayer with thanks to my friend and colleague, Rabbi Barry Block. It's called 2020. We come before you, O oh God, mindful of all we have lost in this difficult year. A year of grief, a year of strife, a year of loneliness. We are eager to bid farewell to 2020, to turn the page to a year of healing and restoration for each of us individually for our congregation, for our community, for Connecticut, for our nation, for the world. But as eager as we are, let us also acknowledge with gratitude a year of scientific miracles, a year of finding new ways to worship, to reach out to one another across physical distance, a year of healing. The true measure of this year now past will be found in the days, months, and years to come. Let us learn from the challenges of 2020 to care not only for our own health, but also for the health of others, to reduce the inequities that have exacerbated this pandemic among the poor, in communities of color and in developing countries worldwide. Closer to home, perhaps we have come to a new appreciation of those who share our homes and others who reach out to those who live alone. And let us celebrate that we have found new ways to meet you, O oh God, in sacred community, even in small boxes on a computer screen. Let 2020 and its horrific ills be behind us and let the coming year, this year, this day, ever forward, bring us hope of restoration, of ever increasing healing, of joining hands and joining hearts and carrying with us all the blessings that we have learned in this most difficult of years. And now that it is 2021, a new old prayer. It's said every year, you probably, maybe said it last night. Or more accurately, it's sung every year as the ball drops in Times Square. Even this year, so Times Square sits empty of the crowds who usually sing it together. The prayer is not in Hebrew, not even in Yiddish, not even in English. The prayer is called Auld Lang Syne. So just a moment, what is that word, auld, A-U-L-D? It's actually Scottish, or more accurately, it's, it's Scots, and it means O-L-D, old. And lang, what does lang mean? It means long. And sign, what does sign mean? It means since. 
old, long, since. What does that mean? Essentially, it means long time ago. We can sing of that long time ago when we could gather and hug and laugh and cry all in the same room. Old Lang Syne, that was a long time ago. And then the song brilliantly, it asks a question and it asks, should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? And the answer is, of course not. We must remember, we must remember everything about 2020 so we don't repeat its mistakes in 2021. And we do carry forth its lessons. And what's the most important lesson to bring forward? The song helps us again, as it is written. We'll take a cup of kindness yet for all blind sign. Kindness, only kindness, always kindness. And there's a hand, my trusty friend, and gives a hand of thine, hand in hand with kindness, hand in hand with kindness. That's the way to begin a new year. Old Lang Syne and Shana Tova. May 2021 bring us all we hope for. And let's start today. Can you hear that song? And we, we continue in our uh, service now as we consider those in need of healing. And uh, before we turn to our singing of our Misha Beirach, we say this. God, you who are the source of life, please bring your blessings of comfort to those who are in need of physical or spiritual healing. At this time, we especially are thinking of Sam Powell, David Rim, Jack Davis, Barbara Stahl, Bonnie Stoddard, Ronnie Berman, Josh Lipschutz, Buddy Basso, Martin Sclair, Marjorie Cohen, Patty Hayes, Hillary Simon, Joel Kolker, Ken Silberstein, Joan Sidney, David Char, Judy Demberg, Lori Glazer, Ellen Warner, Bart Young, Amy Ostreicher, Matthew Pincus, the Bronstein family, Ron Pacacia, Ira Weiss, Tina Chamack, Harriet Cohn Haggerty, Mariel Sheppers, Elizabeth Powers Brown, Ben Peck, Martha and Mark Potter, Melissa Mihalko, Steve Wasserman, Linda Kaufman, Gloria Newell, Sabin Meyer, Maris McNeil. We ask you, O oh God, to aid them in their time of need. Please, God, guide all of their medical and spiritual caregivers. Help them to make wise and compassionate decisions. Provide them with the comfort and aid they need. Baruch atah Adonai rofeha cholim. We praise you, God, healer of the sick. And we sing this prayer to you. Oh. 
I have some announcements for us all. Uh, first, uh, Shabbat Shalom and, and, and indeed a happy new year. I hope it's been a, a, a happy new year for you this day. And uh, we certainly look forward to seeing you at the Oneg tonight at eight o'clock. So please click on the Oneg and join us uh, so that in real time we can, we can schmooze and usher in the new year and maybe bring a little glass of champagne to toast. Uh, and then tomorrow morning, we do have a Jewish mindfulness and meditation at eight o'clock in the morning and Torah study at nine o'clock in the morning. For Torah study, it's our last chance to dive into the book of Genesis. Uh, and then it's off to Exodus the following week. Um, in any case, the links for both of those uh, opportunities are in your inbox. And next week, looking forward, Friday night, January 8th, we'll come together for our family friendly service at 6 p.m. We're looking forward to that. And then mark your calendars for the following Friday evening because we're really super looking forward to a beautiful service of installation of our cantor as the cantor of Temple Beth Tikva. A cantor, we're so excited about that. I know there's some special music. Uh, your cantorial mentor, cantor Lisa Dube, will offer the installation address. And you've got some uh, colleagues of yours that are singing special things. and. Uh, it, it's, it, we're really excited about that. That service will be at 17, uh, 7, 15 p.m., uh, January 15th, our live service. So uh, Shabbat Shalom and see you all at the Oneg. And of course, uh, every service, we don't conclude our service without thinking of those we have loved and lost. And so uh, we indeed, prepare for our Kaddish this way. We remember, and on this Shabbat in particular, we remember those who have uh, passed away at this season in years past, those for whom we observe your sight, David Sabaki, Lorraine Davis, Adam Ecker, Martha levitz Lori, Sylvia Deutsch, William Walzer, John McCauley, Adele Corn Marcus, Morris Widlitz, Francis Rosenblum, Joseph W. Capel, Melvin Robinson, Dr. Edward Glassburn, Larry Richman, Harold Sachs, and Victor Tulenfeld. Uh, please do indeed add the names of those you are remembering and want to include in our Kaddish. You can add those names out loud and uh, we will all recite Kaddish together. Yid Gadal Vid Kaddash Shemei Rabbah V'almad divrach hirute v'amlich malchute V'chayachon uv'yomechon uv'chaye d'chol beit Yisrael V'agala uv'izman kari v'imru amen Yehe Shmei Rabba Mivorach Leolam Olome Omaya. Yid Barach Vishtabach Vit Baar Vit Ramam Vit Nase. Vit Adar Vit Alev Vit Alal Shemeda Kudisha Berichu. La Ela Min Kol Birchata Vashirata. Tushbechata Venechemata. Da Ami Rambi Alma Vimru Amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya. V'chayim aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru. Amen. Ose shalom b'mermav. Hu ya'ase shalom. Aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru. Amen. May the one who makes peace in the high heavens make peace for us, for all Israel, for all who mourn, for all the world. And together we say, Amen. Amen. And so uh, we have a, a special closing song. 
in, in honor of this uh, new year. And Cantor, should I show the words to that so people can sing along? Sure, that'd be yeah. great. Okay, all right. So our, our ode to the new year, Adonolam. Adonolam Hashem, I love the term That was beautiful. That was perfect. <laughs> what a way to begin a new year. It's a difficult, difficult time, but 2020 is now in the rear view mirror and 2021 is open to what we might make of it. Let's make it a year to remember for good for health, for peace, for hope. Wishing every one of you a Shana Tova, Shana Tova Chiloni, a secular happy new year, and a Shabbat Shalom. And we'll see you at the Onik.